Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right, this is where it all starts. So we had the reveal, and now, um, yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get uh, get some life out of this thing. Uh, the key fob battery was dead, so I've just got a new one of those. Um, the main car battery was dead, uh, but that's charged back up again. So looking good at the moment. But the problem I've got is uh, with the key fob being dead, the immobilizer stuck on, and uh, that has obviously got to come off before I can start it. Um, also got to get in the boot. I'll just quickly whip the plugs out, uh, make sure the engine's all good, probably spray some penetrating oil inside the bores, usual kind of thing. But uh, I won't bore you with all the details. Hopefully, in this one, we'll get it started. So I mean, key fobs in bits, but I have a battery. Let's get it installed and see what happens. So the battery's in. Oh, I think I just heard a bleep. Aha! We had a noise. Right. Keen ignition. And it's not making the bleeping like before. A mobiliser. Right, let me um I need to quickly get in the engine bay. Let's do that now. And then obviously I need to um, make sure that what we're doing is good for the car. Um, um Right, how do you get into the engine bay? <laughs> I know nothing about smart cars. <laughs> Duh, it's on the key fob. Look, it is. <laughs> right, let's get into this engine. Again, not going to bore you with this, but uh, yeah, let's get some uh, checking going oh, on. Oh no, somebody stole my engine and they put a motorbike three cylinder in there. Well, the first thing I noticed, the aircon ain't going to work. Because the pipe snapped off. Look at that. Ah, well, parts list. Right, but that was a bit of a bugger. Um, in fact, I've not got that one in properly. Yeah, getting to the plugs. Not the easiest task in the world. But, uh, yeah, got some penetrating oil in there just to make sure. Uh, not much water and check. It's got oil in it. Water looks good. So, um, right, I think this is the moment. Gee, getting into this thing's hard work. <laughs> right, moment of truth. Wish me luck. Right, that says to me that um, battery's not quite as charged as I hoped it might be. <laughs> right, okay. I know somebody's got a battery. Bear with. Oh, well, as if by magic, another battery turns up. Gotta say though, um, Mercedes, yeah. Looks like the battery clamp is right down there, held in with an Allen key. That makes no sense. Right, let's get them swapped. So, I did one of these videos a couple of years ago now, and uh, it was basically taking the battery off an A3, and I got so much flack for it. So much flack. Everybody was telling me that you always take the positive off first. So just to keep people of the internet happy, I'm going to take the positive off first. Now, I was always taught in college and in the trade, take the negative off first. Because if you haven't got anything going to your body, then you can't get any problems. But I get it, you know, times change. And yeah, you could probably touch the live against the body, but you could probably do that taking it off as well. I'm waffling, isn't I? Yeah, let's get this battery out. Right. Right, moment of truth. Here we go. She runs. She runs. <laughs> there you go. Sweet and nut. Starts, she runs. No smoke. No noises. No problem. Excellent. Right, put the cover back on again and uh, I think just try a little drive. Now the brakes are really, really rusty and not working too well. So um, yeah, I've got to be really careful. But I think, yeah, start putting some panels back on and just see if she moves okay. Ah, 
Excellent. Right. The moment of the truth. Bricking it. <laughs> oh, God. Too old for this car. So low. Right. How do you work this thing then? Well, there's a gear stick. Reverse. Show and reverse on there. So we're good. A little bit of go go juice. Break off. She moves. It's um, it's hot. I know that. It's a bit of a weird experience. I've got to say. It's just open a window or two. Whew. Right into neutral into auto. She drives. Brakes are terrible. <laughs> Back into reverse. Mirrors need adjusting. <laughs> oh, back into auto again. Yeah. She drives. Bit of a strange experience, but she drives. Right, let's um, park her up. So, I think maybe we'll leave it for tonight. Um, but everything seems to be working okay. So the brakes are a bit rusty, they've got to come around yet. Uh, but I can sort those out. A little bit of tidying up inside. Um, I think there's a good oil change because there was a couple of little flashes from the oil light. Uh, and smelling the oil um, seems to have a bit of petrol in it so um, yeah that needs a good oil change um, so looking to get in the filter and the oil for that and uh, then a really good uh, good clean because uh, yeah she's looking a little bit um, cobwebby and dirty but I think it will clean up okay so there you go that's the new channel edition and uh, it works <laughs> which is an awesome bonus yeah wanted to get it started wanted to get it running succeeded doing that so uh, now it's um, making it look as best as it can uh, then get an MOT on it and um, getting rid of it <laughs> that's the way these things work right thanks for joining us YouTube I'll catch you later bye bye yeah you know me couldn't resist it having a little buff on the bonnet <laughs> shiny uh. Right, that is it. Honest. For now.